Hi and welcome, I'm Lisa. Thanks for joining me today. We have lots of fun things happening here at Whimsy Stamps. We are celebrating National Scrapbooking Day with inspiration and giveaways here on YouTube and over on Instagram and Facebook. So be sure to join us there as well. As some of you may have already seen, Whimsy's rolling out some products with a focus on scrapbooking, but you can easily use these products for your handmade cards too. And that's what I want to share with you today, how I take two products from the new release and I use those products to create a scrapbook layout and an A2 card. Now, Whimsy is so generously giving away the micro patterns and such and such stamp sets to one lucky winner. Just leave a comment below for a chance to win. As always, please check the description box below for all the giveaway details. We'll touch on those a little bit later in the video as well. Here's a quick look at the micro pattern stamp set and the such and such stamp set. Now I think it's fairly easy to see how both of these products are going to be great crossover products. The micro patterns is a four by 11 stamp set and the such and such is a four by six stamp set. I'm gonna go ahead and get us started with the projects by stamping three of the patterns from that micro pattern set. I'm using straight stripes, the wavy stripes and a stars pattern. I'll be stamping these with memento dye inks in the colors Ladybug, Summer Sky, and Nautical Blue. I'm going with a patriotic theme with this. I've printed out three old photos of my husband and his time in service. I'm going to be using those today. Now, while I stamp these out, let me give you a few details on the giveaway for this video. You just need to leave a comment below for a chance to win that new micro patterns and such and such stamp sets. I'll leave commenting open until May 7th at 11.59 Eastern Standard Time, that's p.m. I'll pick a random winner using a random comment picker, and I'll post that winner in the description box below on Monday, May 10th. Now, I will also respond to your comment letting you know you've won. Now that I'm done stamping the patterns, I'm taking them to my paper trimmer first. I want to trim away the excess from around each of these patterns, then I'll cut each pattern into two or three strips. Now the width doesn't matter so much for the scrapbook layout. I think a few different sizes looks best for this layout. All right, I'm ready to start bringing this layout to life. Now I'm using Nina Avalanche White eight and a half by 11, 110 pound cardstock. I've used removable tape. This is Scotch removable tape to temporarily hold that T ruler in place so I can line the pieces up straight down the cardstock. And this is where the card maker in me starts struggling a little bit because I love to add dimension to my project. Um, I'm not sure what the rules are on using 3D mounting foams when you're scrapbooking, but today I'm going to throw any rules out the window and I'm just going to do what makes me happy. And mounting foam definitely makes me happy. If you've ever seen me make a card, you know I love my mounting foam. So of course, you can always skip it and adhere these straight to the page if you want. Now I am gonna trim these strips down some. I want the left side of the strips to stagger down my page. I don't want them to run straight. I just think it adds a little bit more visual interest to this. Now once we have all the strips in place, I'm gonna go ahead and adhere my photos. Okay, so I'm ready to stamp my sentiment. I did add a few more strips to the right side of the paper. You'll be able to see those in a photo at the end of the video. I'm gonna go ahead and stamp the sentiment, such extraordinary courage. I thought it was absolutely perfect for this layout. I'm not gonna get too into it because if I do, it'll be a blubber fest. So we're just gonna move right on past all of that. And I'm gonna let you know that I've added some stars. Now these are stars that I've had die cut out. I have them in a bowl. You can see me digging in that bowl there. And I just grab things out of that bowl when I need them instead of cutting more. Um, I think we all do that. We all have a little bowl we just toss our scraps into and hang on to to use later. So that's what I did. Here I'm coming in with a fine line Copic multi-liner pen and I'm just doing a very thin black border around my layout. And that's gonna wrap this layout up. So I do wanna go ahead and walk you through real quick the card that I created using the same products. So here we are, we're gonna go ahead and do the card real quick. I have an A2 card base, 
Same cardstock that I used on the layout, the Avalanche White 110 pound cardstock. I did draw that border around the edge of the card and I just used the same Copic Multiliner Black pen and my ruler to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and stamp my sentiment on a piece of white cardstock. And this was just trimmed down with paper trimmer. I'm using the same sentiment on the card as I did on the layout, such extraordinary courage. I do want to show you that I'm using a piece of removable tape to mask off the word and so that I can stamp just that word such there on my sentiment. So the scotch removable tape is absolutely amazing. I use it when I'm die cutting. I use it for masking things off like you just saw me do there. So many things that I use it for. I keep one roll over here on my desk and I keep one roll over by my die cutting machine. So I'm gonna go ahead, add mounting foam to the back of the strips and go ahead and place those right up the left side of that border that I added to the card. Now you're gonna notice that these are all the same size, not in width, but in height. And I thought that it looked a little bit better on the card when they were all the same size climbing up the side of the card there. Now, once I do this, I'll go ahead and take one of those tiny little black die cut stars that I have in that bowl and add that right beside the sentiment. And that's pretty much gonna wrap us up on the card and the layout. Don't forget to leave a comment down below for a chance to win the Micro Patterns 4x11 stamp set and that such and such sentiment stamp set. Here, I do wanna give you a quick tip. If you're doing a border around any of your projects and you end up with a little tail running past your, the lines that you have there, just use your white gel pen and go over that little tail and you'll never even notice it. So that's just a quick tip. Again, don't forget to leave your comment for a chance to win. You have until May 7th at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to leave a comment. Also, please share this with your crafty friends. It helps us out on the channel when you share. Um, and let me know what you think of the scrapbook layout and the card. I love to read you guys' comments and interact with you all. As always, everything is linked below for you. You can head over to the Whimsy Stamps website to check out the products. They are available in the store today. As always, please know how much we appreciate you taking the time to join us. And until next time, take care.